Hey everybody, Rob or Gail, your favorite silencer nut job. And in today's video, I wanted to go a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole into 300 blackout. So behind me, you see, I have my bolt action Savage pistol in 300 blackout. Now this has about a 10.4 ish barrel. And that is just kind of the, one of the favorite spots, ideally nine inch. And some people would argue, I love my Rattler. That's like 6.75 inches, but you're not getting the maximum sound suppression because you're burning a lot of that powder outside of the barrel. So with subsonic ammunition, where can we squeeze the most out of my favorite 300 blackout to date suppressor? And that's the Cat JL. So ammunition, we've got the Magtech Subsonic ammunition. We have the Stealth Subsonic ammunition. And then finally, one of my favorites, the House of Pain Subsonic ammunition. All three of these historically have done pretty well. Someone in the comments earlier mentioned that the Magtech they found to be a little bit louder than everything else. So I wanted to run an experiment on this gun with these three subsonic loads to figure out which one was quieter of the three. All right, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. All right, I've got an airplane flying overhead, but I'm just going to go ahead and roll anyways. I apologize. It's an outdoor range aircraft flyover. All right, so kind of an unfair advantage we're going to start with House of Pain. There can be a first round pop with the Cat JL. I haven't seen that really be much of the case. After the House of Pain ammunition, we have the Stealth ammunition followed by the Magtech ammunition. All right, let's give her a go. Real quiet. Its strike in the berm is almost as loud. All right, so that was the House of Pain. This is Stealth. That was a lot quieter. I wonder if that House of Pain stuff might even be supersonic. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a gun. Okay, this is the Magtech. Wow, I think the Magtech sounded the quietest. Yeah, I'm going to say it went Magtech was the quietest. House of Pain was actually the loudest. Let's reverse the order just to make sure we're not getting any silly gases within the suppressor and make sure we're getting a fair experiment. Okay, so we've reversed the order. I left the stealth in the middle because I don't think there's an advantage or a disadvantage of being in the middle. So we've got, instead of uh, Magtech last, we have Magtech first, then stealth, then House of Pain. Okay, Magtech. Yeah, that's really quiet. Okay, Stealth is next. I would say that was equally quiet between the Stealth and Magtech. That might be supersonic because you can hear the going down range. Yeah, I would venture to say that the House of Pain ammo is actually supersonic and here it says on the box 1060 feet per second 220 grain boat tailed hollow point i wonder if the house of pain out of this gun perhaps because it's a sealed bolt system is getting just enough velocity to come over the speed of sound and makes it just a hair louder but compared to the two the stealth ammo and the magtech both sounded really good on the first iteration i want to say that the stealth was a hair louder than magtech and on the second iteration they were up kind of equals so in the end um Really, they sound much the same. I think the House of Pain stuff was just a little bit too hot loaded, probably more designed for the nine inch AR-15, which is bleeding a little bit of gas because of its semi-automatic nature and a, an inch shorter barrel, which is kind of more where 300 Blackout belongs anyway. Guys, if you're enjoying this content and learning as much as I enjoy learning, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that hype button. All that stuff really does go a long way for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate your guys' support. As always, stay safe and I'll see you in the comments.